Hello and welcome back to coding Conway's Game of Life in Ruby. In previous video we have hopefully clarified this cell grid thingy and we began on expanding our cell class here and in this video we are going to improve our cell class a bit more and uh, hopefully begin to implement uh, the rules of the game. So let's get started. First off um, we should realize that upon initialization of the cell we should uh, initialize the cell with proper x and y coordinates Okay, let me just exit from this IRB and clear this and uh, run our spec spec game of life as you can see it fails because there is wrong number of arguments in this subject world at new which is this line is failing but this line is failing because this cell that new doesn't have any of two arguments and that is easily fixable by going to line 26 and providing the default values for x and y coordinates which are zero and now all the tests pass which is kinda awesome and we should test this uh, within this should initialize properly for the cell class uh, we should state that subject uh, x should equal 0 and the same thing should be said for y coordinate that it should be 0 and wow it is failing uh, why is it failing uh, it is failing because there is no uh, defining of the x like this and no defining of the y like this. So in the previous error it complained about the x and we have added the x as so. Now it is going to complain about the y because we haven't um, add, added it. So add y equals y. Now all the tests should be passing which is great. Um, now if we go to the cell new cell new uh, shouldn't initialize with uh, coordinates x and y because the coordinates should correspond to uh, the position of this cell within this cell grid and we can easily extract the x and y coordinates uh, of this cell from this rows and calls uh, meaning columns uh, arguments of these array objects so cell that new should be some x and y and the x in this case is a call and y is a row okay and um, the way to check this is to go into the IRB real quick and to initialize a new world object and to see if the cells uh, which are created uh, have the right x and y coordinates. So let's just type in world uh, new and see what we get. We get nothing because we haven't loaded the game of life rb file. Now we, when we type world new we get what we would expect. We get a cell grid with a whole bunch of cells which is this what we explained before and each of these cells is dead and each of these cells has defined x and y coordinates. Uh, the first cell, uh, which is this cell right here, the first cell has x and y coordinates uh, 0, as we would expect. Um, the cell just right of it should have x coordinate 1 and y coordinate 0. And in indeed, that cell does have it. So this shows that we have properly written this method and initialized this cell with proper x and y coordinates. So I think this is it for that um, cell class for now. Um, now we should begin implementing the rules. And uh, let's jump into our spec file and write a new context, which is context of array rules. New end. And this rule context should have a subcontext called rule rule number one. Rule number one, and let's just copy and paste the text from the wiki page 
just copy it here and finish it off and then jump to the beginning and end the context here and let's just run our specs to make sure that we do not have any typo and we do actually uh, unexpected keyword end uh, that has happened where oh, okay so I do not have do here okay so now that is passing great so now that we have basic framework for our rules let us think about how we're going to implement them um, these rules uh, kind of connect this uh, class world and this class cell kind of make them interact so it is a good practice to introduce a new class now which is going to control the world and the cell interaction and let us call this class a game class okay but first off let us uh, write the write the 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 rule spec okay so it um, should uh, since rule one says that any life cell with fewer than two life neighbors dies so it should kill a life cell with one life neighbor okay it should kill off a cell with f with one life neighbor uh, this spec doesn't have any code yet but uh, let us begin writing the code for it let us first create the uh, game uh, cla class which is going to be game dot new um, remember this game we have introduced uh, to uh, control the interaction between world and cell classes and now when we run our specs we get an uninitialized constant game we have uh, to uh, initialize it uh, so the class game and now that we have initialized it it makes all of our of our tests passing and I can see that I'm out of time I'm sorry uh, see you in the next video where we're going to uh, expand upon our rule number one